Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. I'm out in the garden today and I have a few jobs that I want to get done. Uh, the first job that I want to get done is my onions. They're looking uh, ready to pull up here and I'd like to, to get them out of the ground. And it looks like I have a few uh, turnips in here too that um, out of the ones that uh, kept getting eaten down by the, the flea beetles, there's a few that survived so they're ready to pull out. And then I have some cucumbers that need harvesting. I think I have some tomatoes that need harvesting. So it's going to be a, a little bit of everything, I think, today in the garden. But I thought I'd bring you along so you could see what's going on here. So around here, the packages seem to be just labeled white onion, yellow onion, red onion. So these are white onions. I usually grow yellow onions. But I've heard the white onions are milder, so I wanted to grow them this year. Um, I often don't space my onions very far apart because uh, they're not a huge favorite in our family. I enjoy them, but as I mentioned before, the rest of my family isn't uh, super keen on strong flavors. So this year I decided though I was going to try and space a few apart and just see what I could get um, for larger onions to save. And I'm pretty happy with how they're looking. I don't have a lot of onions because I said we don't eat a lot of onions. I'll just add a little bit here and there as it go. But the uh, they're all st starting to fall over and I'm not sure if that's because I had some pumpkins and other plants that are really taking over in here and I I've done a lot of pruning and cleaning back but I don't know if they've knocked the onions over or if the onions are just doing on there and they're not totally bent at the necks but it's staying pretty damp and shady back here so I think I'm going to pull them out anyways and hopefully they'll they'll do all right I have been eating these onions pulling them out as, as they go and they've been uh, pretty nice onions to add a nice mild onion flavor to things. So I've enjoyed them that way. But as you can see, it's pretty wet in here. And with the parsnips getting so big beside me here, they're, and the pumpkins and that, I think they're just getting too much shade now. It's time to take them out. Even though some of them haven't gotten real big. You see this one's starting to to spoil. Some hanging out together. So that's a nice pile of onions. I'll lay them out and can have a a dry out in the sun for a little bit. I try and put them away. I don't know, I've never really tried to store my winters over the winter, so it'll be interesting to see how long I get out of them. They haven't totally started dried back at the tops or anything, so I, I doubt they'll store a real long time, but they weren't doing anything else and they're starting to get a little bit of mold on them here. It's just, this area just got too shady and overgrown, so I think the best thing is to pull them out and just use them as I can now. Now I have a few turnips in here. Let's see if I can grab those out. Let's see what's growing. Looks like I might just have one that's any size. That's not very large. There's a nice one. Oh, it smells good too. And the rest are just little. I had a heck of a time getting them growing back here. The flea beetles kept eating them down and so out of about four or five tops there was only one decent turnip there. Um, I forget the variety, I'll have to, to look back and see what it was. So while I'm over in this part of the garden, I thought I'd have a look and see if there's any carrots um, worth pulling up. This is something my family does really enjoy, is the carrots, so. And they just have not grown well this year. 
We've had a few to nibble on. Um, but I don't know. None of them are huge, but they're nice carrots that are coming out. Again, I'll have to look at what the variety was on these. Now these could stay. It's getting cold at night. It's, oh, we've had like around seven degrees at night here. A lot of nights now and some of the plants are not loving that but the carrots don't really care. In fact carrots do well with a bit of frost. Oh that one got a little hairy. It's got a little pocket of fertilizer or manure or something in there. Yeah, they're just not, even where I've thinned them out a lot, they're just not growing real big. I feel like the marigolds are what did the best in the garden this year and I don't eat those so I know I could, but I don't. And I think they've overshadowed some of my other plants that I'd rather have. Some of these I'm just pulling out because they're close to others and I'm trying to give them another thinning here while I do this. nice carrots and they'll taste good, they're just not big, but they'll be enjoyed at our house. This bed is the bed that I had pulled out um, the potatoes from the one raised bed and I had peas along the middle, they've come out since and I planted more peas but they're getting nibbled on by something. I don't think I'll get anything out of them. I'm just going to set the onions here in the sun to dry out a little bit and harden off a little bit. I also had some onions in um, some pots with tomatoes and some in with some um, parsley and thyme and marigolds and that. Um, none of those did really well. None of them got, I'd say, any bigger than this size here. Um, tasted good, but I think, again, they just got shaded out. Maybe too much um, competition for water nutrients, I don't know, but... They didn't do well. I, I picked them out and ate them as I went. Over here is my broccoli. And yes, it's covered in butterflies. Not the kind we really like in the garden. But... I think the birds are 
doing their job. Um, is this? I look through the broccoli all the time, and I'm not finding caterpillars. There's lots of eggs being laid on them. I'm not finding the caterpillars. I'm not finding frost from the caterpillars. I really think um, the birds are coming in here and picking them off. There is, I'm gonna bring you in here if I can. Through there, but there's a threat on the broccoli. It's just a bad time of day. They're trying to form heads. I don't know how long this process takes, because I've never grown cabbage before, so that's what's happening there. It hasn't been very productive this year. The worst year I've ever had for eggplant. I've been growing eggplant a lot of years. I did just pull two small ones, about, I don't know, that big, off these plants. Um, those are Black Beauty, and then this one, I forget what it's called, but it's the longer style. and. There's some coming, but they're just not doing much. Here is uh, corn. We've had some corn, and there's, I'm pretty sure some more ready there, so I need to get that pulled off. Might have that with supper tonight. And then beans. I need to get in here and pull beans. They're just going nuts. And all my little baby pumpkins. Let me see that one down there. More coming. There's more back in there. Nice white one here. It's a mixed pack, so it'll be interesting to see how many kinds we get here. And then the big pumpkins, which are actually two beds away, have meandered their way over here and have decided this is the spot to, to have their babies. So this is where they've wound up. And I have my kale is still going strong, Swiss chard is still going strong, and there's the broccolis here. Um, they're trying to form heads over here too. This is a much shadier spot, um, but they're, they're doing well. And again, the cabbage moths are here, but you know, I picked, picked worms off for the longest time, and there's a little bit of frass down on this one here, so I'll have to have a good going over on it. but. I haven't seen, oh here, here's the worm right here, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, oh I'm losing it, right there, and that's what they look like, and I just pick them off when I find them, there's another one, yeah see I knew they were on this one because there was that little bit of frost, the other other plants I haven't had any on it for quite a while. Like I said, I think the birds are getting in there and uh, keeping them cleaned off. Here's a little tiny baby one. See that right there? Lots of eggs. So yeah, I'll have to go through. Oh, there's another big one. They like to hide along the stems there. I'll have to go through and, and clean these off again. Obviously they need my attention, but right now I want to pick the, the cucumbers. Lots of cucumber hanging here.
There's some mini eggplants that I had planted. I thought they would get a little bigger than that, but the skins seem to be going kind of dull, so I think I may have left them too long. Um, so I'm going to pick them off and see how they taste. Mm -hmm. 